Hey mom, I hope you're doing well. I have something to tell you and it's important. I'm getting married soon. It's going to be a very simple wedding. No honeymoon, no big ceremony, just a cozy dinner with some close friends. And I'm sorry to say this, but you and Josh are not invited. I'll keep sending you money as I promised, but I want you to know that I'm never coming back home. That's it. That's why I messaged you. Nothing else to say. Bye, Mom. Wait a minute, Cindy. What on earth are you talking about? I haven't heard from you in ages. And now you're calling me to say you're getting married and you're not inviting us? And who are you getting married to? You can't just get married like that. Who gave you the right to do that? I never gave you my blessing for heaven's sake. Mom, I don't need your blessing to get married. It's my life so I can marry whoever I want. You have no say in it. Please just leave me alone. This is none of your business. Why do you care if I get married or not? Are you serious? You're my daughter. I have every right to know who you're marrying. I have to approve of him. And who is he anyway? Some jerk you met online? You're not marrying someone like that, right? What's wrong with you, mom? You never cared about me. You abandoned me to survive on my own for all these years. Why do you suddenly care? Why don't you just stay out of it and let me live my life? How dare you talk to me like that? I won't let you get married or have this stupid dinner of yours. And forget about any honeymoon. I order you to break up with this guy and do it now. Get rid of him. You'll thank me later. Oh God, what have I done? Why did I message you? I should have just gotten married and never told you. That would have been better. How could you say that? How could you not tell your mother? Don't you remember that I raised you and gave you everything? Gave me everything? Are you kidding me, Mom? The only person you gave everything to was Josh, your golden boy who could do no wrong. Maybe not so golden. He's still jobless and living with you, right? You did a great job with him. You always called me your daughter, but was I really? To me, it felt like Josh was your only child. I used to come home from school, and there would only be food for Josh, and nothing for me. You always told me to take care of myself. Paddle your own canoe is what you would say. You never did anything for me. I had to wash my own clothes, buy my own books, work part-time jobs. Did you ever celebrate my birthday or my graduation? No. You didn't. You treated me like dirt all those years. And now you're pretending to be a loving mother? Caring mother. I am your mother. That's the truth. I treated you that way to make you strong and independent. You should be grateful to me. Do you think I liked it? I did it out of love. I am ashamed of you, Cindy. How could you think that way about your mother? Save it, Mom. Don't give me that nonsense. You always loved Josh more. You'd do everything for him. You were always by his side. No matter what the occasion was, you always had a gift for him. He was pampered when he was a baby. And he's still pampered. And you know what, Mom? I never got any clothes from you. Never. It was always Dad and Grandma who cared for me, who bought me what I needed for school. You're always digging up the past. Would you please stop whining? You've always had this nasty attitude since you were a kid. Nasty attitude? Me? No way. It's your attitude, and that was the problem. Why do you think I ran away from home when I was still in junior high? And wasn't that around the same time that dad left you? Please don't compare me to him. How could you say that, Cindy? We got off track. It seems, Mom, just back off, will you? I don't want you interfering in my life. I'll still call you mom, out of habit. But know this, I've never considered you as my mother. You didn't deserve that respect from me. I don't care what you think. I don't need your permission to get married. I won't stop saying this, but I won't let you get married. This loser is not good for you. Dump him or you'll regret it. Why are you so against me marrying the guy I love? You sound like you have someone else in mind. Is that what you're implying? Oh, you're not as stupid as I thought. Yes, there is someone I have picked for you. 
I took the liberty of choosing your new husband. I have it all set up with Dennis Manning. He's your future husband. I have already scheduled a meeting with him and his family. When can you get here? Uh, hold on a second, Mom. Wait a minute. Are you telling me you want me to marry Dennis Manning? The Mannings, who own all that land near you. The big landowner. You want me to marry Dennis? That fat, hairy pig? That guy who always has something rude to say? You must be kidding. That's right. That Dennis. Well, I'm surprised you remember. I bumped into him the other day and he mentioned that he was thinking of getting married. His wife died five years ago and he was worried he would have to handle all that land alone. That's when I suggested that he marry you. And I have to say he wasn't too repulsed by the idea. Lucky you, huh? So I immediately arranged for a meeting downtown. Dennis is all set and eager. When can you be here? That's why this marriage of yours is not happening. You're crazy. I wish you wouldn't make plans for me like that. What gives you the right to control my life? There is no way that I'm marrying that fat pig. Have you completely lost it? Are you serious? This is a golden opportunity. He owns all that land. You're set for life. We'll never have to worry about money again. Think about it, Cindy. You marry him, and after a few years he croaks and all that land will be ours. How could you pass that up? Your brother finally got a job last month, but having that much land will be set. I mean, really, Cindy, how could you miss this chance? You don't care diddly squat about me. It's all about the money, isn't it? This whole thing only benefits you and Josh, as it is with everything else. This has nothing whatsoever to do with me. It doesn't matter whether I'm happy or not. I'm sorry, Mother, but you're not going to get your way this time or ever again, for that matter. I have zero intention of returning home or quitting my job, and I have zero aspiration of marrying that person. What are you, Cindy? Still five years old? This is your future we're talking about. The road to happiness for any woman is to marry a rich guy and become a housewife. But most of all, it's to be a good daughter and show loyalty to her mother. That's why I'm telling you to marry this man. He may be over 50 and twice your age, but think of the rewards it will bring. I think you need to be institutionalized. Do you really think I would marry a fat 50-year-old slob for you and Josh? And no doubt this is about you guys. I don't figure in this little scheme of yours. No, Mom. I'm going to pass on this. I've really had enough of this. I can't listen to any more of this nonsense. Don't ever contact me again. Do you hear me? Hey, Cindy. What the hell did you do? Mom is furious. You always manage to piss her off big time. Why be so stubborn, huh? I wish you would stop being a jerk. You're making things worse for everyone. Uh, excuse me? What's it to you? Why are you butting in? This is none of your business. You have no idea what you're talking about. It's everything to me. What are you saying? After that phone call with you, she went into a meltdown. She was so upset. She didn't even cook me dinner last night. I had to go to McDonald's for some nuggets. I came back from drinking with my friends and I was hoping for some of mom's stew. She makes the best too, but she just kept going on and on about you. She didn't shut up until way past midnight. Just say you're sorry to her. Call her or text her or something, will you? She won't let it go. She's really hurt by what you said. Wait, you want me to say sorry? Are you joking? Why would I do that? She's the one that disregarded my feelings and set up this crazy marriage with that old Manning guy. That guy's old enough to be my father for crying out loud. And she wants me to marry him? She's insane. This is all about his land and money, nothing else. She doesn't care about me. She only cares about herself. She's just so concerned about you. You're not exactly a beauty and you don't have any skills to brag about. She's looking out for you. 
She's trying to secure your future. Stop being so difficult and just say thank you and agree to the proposal. That's all you have to do. Why be so stubborn? Why do you always have to make mom cry, for God's sake? She's done so much for you. Don't give me this long sermon, Josh. Who the hell do you think you are? You have no right to lecture me. After all, who sent you money every month so that you could live well all these years? Who helped you pay your bills and your debt? Who supported you when you had no job and no prospects? I wasn't living well. I was searching for a job. It was just bad luck. The job market was terrible then. You know, I went to grad school, right? I have a master's degree and I could get any job I wanted. And just so you know, I had a bunch of offers, but I turned them down. I was too good for those positions. I was waiting for something better. Oh, sure. I'm sure they were begging you to work for them, right? I remember you got that one job at the PC shop, but quit after a month. Said you needed to spend time to study or some crap like that. You were just lazy and incompetent. You couldn't handle a simple job. You keep babbling, Cindy. That's all you're good at. Anyway, I already got a new job. Didn't mom tell you? It's not a big company, but they're growing and business is booming. When my application gets approved and I start working, it will skyrocket. That's for sure. Not something like you, a high school dropout, can say. I'll make twice as much as you in a year. <laughs> You'll be jealous of me. Oh, really? Big words, huh? Just don't quit in a month. Good luck. You'll need it. You're not cut out for the real world. You're just a spoiled brat who lives off mom. Anyway, we're getting off track. Just text or call mom and apologize. And tell her you'll accept her offer of marriage. This could change your life, Cindy. I will think about it seriously. This kind of opportunity doesn't come often. I advise you to take it. You won't get another chance like this. Like I told mom, I already chose who to marry. And it's not Dennis Manning. I'm engaged, and that's the only person I want to marry. That's final. I will never meet or marry Mr. Manning. Maybe mom should marry him, huh? He's more her type old and rich i'm telling you cindy you're going to regret marrying this loser you'll be back begging mom to set up a meeting it might be too late by then a plain little high school dropout like you would just get dumped sooner or later i would take this over if i were you cindy you'd be set for life if you marry this rich guy mark my words it would make mom very happy what more do you want you have no clue what kind of a person my fiancé is? He's the best thing that ever happened to me. And I wish you would stop making my life decisions for me. You have no right to interfere in my life. I couldn't care less what you guys say. You will not manipulate my life. I marry who I choose, nobody else. Not even you or your mom can change that. This is getting nowhere, for God's sake. Nobody wants to hear your stupid excuses, Cindy. You're just being selfish and foolish. Just do as you're told, would you? You really have the nerve to disobey us after all we've done for you? You marry this guy and all you end up doing is staying at home to cook and clean while he goes chasing girls. He's a loser and a cheater. You're making a huge mistake. This is the things I get for sending you guys money all these years? Where's the gratitude for that? Where's the appreciation for all the sacrifices I made for you? I worked hard to earn that money, and I shared it with you. I helped you pay your rent, your bills, and your debts. I supported you when you had nothing. Sending us money? You mean the peanuts you were sending us that we didn't even need that? That was just pocket change. That's all you can do, Cindy? Work your butt off and send us a few pennies each month? What are you good for? You have no skills, no education, no ambition. You should be grateful to us. We're giving an opportunity to redeem yourself, a chance to live a comfortable life. 
no longer will you have to work all day and bring home pennies. All you need to do is bow your head and be the obedient little sister and daughter. Just listen to us and do what we say. Alright, I see where you're coming from. Okay, have it your way. I'll do what you want. Have I finally gotten through to that thick head of yours? You're so dense. I never thought it possible. Alright then, let's get this marriage on the road then. Let's call mom and tell her the good news. She'll be so happy. Wait a second, Josh. I didn't agree on the marriage. What I was acknowledging was the fact that cockroaches like you have to be eradicated. You're the worst brother ever. Cockroaches? You're going to regret that remark, Cindy. Yeah, whatever. So the monthly payments, you didn't need it at all. Just mere pennies, huh? Okay. That means your new job at that firm? Forget it ever happened. You can kiss that job goodbye. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? What's this have to do with my job? I got that job fair and square. I aced the interview and I impressed the boss. I have nothing to do with this new job I got. Everything, actually. I'm so sorry about this. I know you were looking forward to working at that firm. I'll contact them and rescind the application. Say you found another job or something. Good luck trying to find another job. I hear the job market is super tough now, but you went to graduate school, so I'm sure you'll manage. You're so smart and qualified, right? Cindy, I have no freaking idea what you're talking about. You're talking nonsense. You have no power over my job. You have no connection to that firm. You're just bluffing. That's where you're mistaken, Josh. You're so clueless. <laughs> you have no idea who I really am. What the hell are you talking about? Who are you? That company you apply to? I own that company. I'm the boss. I'm the one who hired you. And I'm the one who's going to fire you. Hold it a second. What? As you probably remember, I left home right after dropping out of high school. You probably thought I just started working, but actually, I went on to finish high school through night classes and online courses, and I also managed to graduate from college with honors. I paid for everything through a scholarship and a part-time job. Plus, Dad helped me out quite a bit too. He was always supportive of me. Unlike you and Mom. It's just the first I'm hearing of any of this. You never told me anything about your education or your life. You just disappeared and left me alone with mom. That company you applied to? I set up that company while still in college. It was my dream project. After graduating, it really took off and is still growing. It's one of the most successful companies in the country. I accepted your application because, well, call it helping a relative. I really don't know what I was thinking. I figured I had a duty to my brother, but... I guess I was delusional. I was going to cut all financial assistance to you guys after getting married, but I couldn't just let my brother be unemployed. I felt sorry for you guys. Figured you guys needed some income, not the pennies I was sending. So I asked HR to accept your application. I established another company, so I'll be tied up over there for a while. And I was going to sell the company after a year. Figured we would never meet and you probably wouldn't find out I owned the company. But, turns out, my plans were all for naught. I'm going to have to call HR and rescind your application. Hold it a second. Is this some kind of sick joke? What are you trying to pull here, Cindy? None of this makes any sense. How could you own a company for Pete's sake? That makes you the CEO of that company. Now that's a riot. You're lying to me, right? You're trying to mess with me. You know what, Josh? I don't give a darn if you believe me or not. I don't care what you think of me. I'll contact you about the cancellation of the job application in a few days. What reason should I give? That you insulted the company CEO or something like that? What do you think? Oh yeah, 
I was contemplating sending you guys money for a couple more years if necessary, but the end of this month will be the final payment. Just so you're aware. Oh, and for your information, I was paying all your utilities like gas and electricity. That's not my responsibility anymore. So you guys handle it from now on. Okay? I have the means, of course but I couldn't be bothered with handling all expenses for you guys. I'm really sorry about all this. I tried, I really did. I tried to be a good sister, a good daughter, but you never appreciated me. You never respected me. You're the one with all the brains in the family, right? Good college and graduate school. You'll figure something out, I'm sure. You're so smart and talented, right? Hold it a sec, Cindy. Not so fast. You can't just cancel my application or cut all support to us. Are you serious? How are we supposed to live? Tell me that. How are we supposed to pay the rent, the bills, the debts? That's your job, Josh. Not mine. You're the eldest. You're supposed to take care of mom and yourself. I only have the skill to cook and keep house right? That's what you always said. That's what mom always said. Oh my, I don't know what I should do, Josh. Please help me. Please tell me what to do. I'm so helpless and clueless, right? This is not a joke, Cindy. Are you going to abandon us? How could you do this to us? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. You guys never had any love for me. You didn't care if I lived or died, to be frank. You treated me like dirt. You ignored me, neglected me, abused me. So why shouldn't I abandon you, right? All right, let's cut this short, shall we? I have to head over to HR and get this done. Goodbye, Josh. Have a nice life and good luck. You'll need a lot of luck because you won't have me anymore. <laughs> Cindy, answer the damn phone. Cindy, what the hell is this nonsense about stopping the payment and Josh losing his job? What are you playing at? What is your game? Wow, that was quick. So, Josh spilled the beans, huh? I bet he gave you a full report. Well, it's exactly as he said. I'm sick and tired of your selfishness and manipulation. I tried to be nice to you, but you never appreciated it. I've made up my mind to sever all ties with you and Josh. Not that there was much to sever in the first place. And that means I'm not going to send you any more money. You're not my family anymore. Why should I waste my hard-earned cash on strangers, right? As for Josh's job, I used my connections to get him in, but that's over now. That's all there is to it, Mom. Are you happy now? Wait a minute. Cindy, you can't do this to me. I won't let you get away with this. You have to pay the support money and get Josh's job back. You owe me that much. I don't owe you anything. I don't need your permission for anything. I hope you enjoy living in that dump with no power or heat. But hey, at least you have your precious deadbeat son to keep you company. Have fun with that. I don't give a damn what you do from now on. Sell the house or whatever. I'm not going to lift a finger to help you. Sort it out yourselves. Cindy, please, just listen to me, please. Let's talk this through. Don't hang up on me. I'm sorry. It was all my fault. Please forgive me. Spare me, mother. You don't mean a word of that. When have you ever said sorry to me? Don't bother with this charade. I know you, mom. You're a liar. It's not a lie, I swear. Please, I'm begging you. I'm sorry for everything I said. You don't have to marry this Dennis jerk. Just please talk to me. I'm really sorry. I mean it. I hope you can forgive me. Cindy, please. I'm sincere, I swear. I'll do whatever you want. Please don't leave me. Help your mother out, for God's sake. You're not my mother. 
You never did anything for me that a real mother would do. You're the one who left me long ago. Cindy, please don't say that. I don't think we'll ever see each other again. I hope you guys rot in hell. Good riddance. As soon as I hung up, I erased their contacts from my phone. I also got a new phone and a new number, so they could never reach me again. I was the one who paid for their smartphones, so I cut off their service. I also closed the bank account I had opened for them to send them money every month. As for my wedding, it was perfect, and we moved into our lovely new house a few days later. I bet my mom and Josh are freaking out right now. Their phones are dead, and their bank account is empty, and any day now they'll be in the dark. But how can I feel sorry for them after the way they treated me with all that happening to them? Josh's imaginary job, the worthless phones, the drained bank account, and the unpaid bills? They showed up at my company begging me for help. Of course I wasn't there, but they made such a scene that the cops were called. But before they got there, they realized they were screwed and ran away like cowards. The last thing I heard, they were pointing fingers at each other for the mess they made. I don't get why they don't get off their asses and start working. After a few months, we finally had a beautiful wedding party at a nice restaurant. My dad, my grandma, and some close friends were there. I don't need much to be happy, and I'm completely content with my life. I should have dumped them a long time ago.